Hello everyone. So I know I haven't posted that much, but I have a good reason. I've been doing a college class and I'm gonna try to do something similar to my Cal Art um discussion about the summer camp intensive. Um the link will probably be below. I'm going to go over the work I did for it. How I felt about the class, the assignments I did for it, and, like, how I did, and just, like, showcase them on one video. So, that if you ever take that class, you kind of know what you're getting into. Um, I'll put some info about the specific instructor I had in the description, so I don't remember right now. But I'm just gonna go through the drawings and talk about them a little. So, I got this sketchbook, um... This was the first thing I drew in it. Uh, it looked... Okay, I don't know. I don't really care for it too much, but... Originally, this wasn't an assignment at all, but it ended up being one because she wanted us to draw some personal drawings. Like, that was something we had to turn in ever so often, so I submitted this as one of the personal drawings. And I had to get a whole new sketchbook, because the normal sketchbook I draw in is this small. So that wasn't gonna fly. So... I had to draw on this new sketchbook. So this is the first time I had to draw this big. So I wanted to, like, practice doing that, I guess. This, she had us do exercises, I believe, on the first day. She wanted us to, like, do, like, hand exercises and, like, hold the pencil a specific way. I kind of hated the way we hold it, so I held it normal way most of the time. And I also used it for, like, color swatching to know what my colors were. So this was our baseline drawing, is what she called it. Basically, if you'll focus, we had to draw something, something that was tall. This, it was a book. I, I was in the library at the time. And then something cylindrical. So I got a Pringles can I had. And draw them, and draw the shading, and like, everything you can to make it look good. Um, I will definitely improve. This was basically just to see our improvement. Later on in the class, there was something we could, like, edit this to make it better. Like, it was, like, near the end of the semester of the class where we could, like, go back and, like, redraw it or edit it for extra credit. I didn't because I already had enough um, points to get an A, but um, it was just something kind of cool. And then up here, um, he was teaching us how to box our, our circles stuff like that to make them more circular and stuff like that um yeah i think i got some critique on this i don't entirely remember because it was kind of a while ago but it was definitely something about my cylinders not being perfectly lined up and it just it looks rough i get better i promise but this was the first drawing this is where i start um second drawing she wanted us so we had to get vegetables that was a bit interesting. I had to go to, like, my store and get vegetables and prop them up. I was, like, in the library, so a very public space. It felt kind of weird. And so she wanted us to draw them, but not look down at our paper. I think it's called something, but I kind of forgot. I think a blind contour is the word. The carrot was very fun to draw. The rest just kind of became a mess, but, like, he was very okay with it not being looking good. So that was that was fun. And we were able to look, and we did something where we did, like, just the shadows, and then did the actual thing. I think, I thought this came out pretty well. I was very happy with how I shaded it. I remember being happy about that. This is unrelated, and will barely focus, because it's super light. But it, I just drew this for robotics, another a club I'm in. And I ended up using it as a personal drawing for an assignment. Because every now and then she wants, she wants... Two, like, personal drawings and, then like, two drawings based on, the, like, a prompt list she gives us. And so I'll, I'll tell you when some of the drawings are based on the prompt list. Because the prompts are very specific. And I didn't expect that, really. But, yeah, this is just a random drawing. Um, This was also another personal drawing. I had drawn these skirts. Like, they drew these dresses first to, like, practice drawing dresses. And I found, like, this reference. I had a bunch of these dresses. I drew them. And I drew the bodies afterwards. That's why some of them look weird. Or, like, don't fit. But I think some of them are really cute. And I recently started drawing, because I had rainbow hair at the time. So I was drawing my hair, like, rainbow. And so I drew each of the girls as part of that rainbow. And that was fun. That was, like, something just, just fun to do. 
And I also submitted this as a personal drawing. And then we're going horizontal. She wanted us to get a box, a cup. She wanted us to get three objects. It wasn't it didn't have to be these specific things. And then draw them, if I, I'm remembering, in four different like positions to basically get better at like placing objects and like in com different compositions and making them look better good this is the first one i drew it's okay um it's kind of the focus i really didn't darken it because we didn't really have to i think it looks okay um some of the other ones don't look as good um this is another one it basically it's just the same objects but different orientations right a box a little marker and a cup it honestly doesn't look that bad. I think it helped that I took Drawbox, if you remember me talking about that years ago. Um, Drawbox definitely is helpful. So, so let's see for this. And then, here we had to have, I think, different, like, type. I think it was another, like, three object thing, but they had to be all, like, cylindrical. These ones look worse. Um, I would tell you my critique, but I don't particularly remember. So... And a lot of my big critique is good before my, like, actual big assignment stuff, which is in another sketchbook, which I'll show y'all in a second. Um, so yeah, there's another orientation. The balls were really hard for me to draw. It's really not focusing, but they were really hard for me to draw, to be honest. I do not like these drawings much, but it was good practice. And we did do another one with some other objects. This was, oh, here, this is my rough draft. If I go to my big sketchbook, you can see the final draft of this drawing, maybe. Um, I'll check my final thing. I was going to do these separate, but it doesn't really make sense to do it separately. Anymore. Oh, no, it's not the final yet. Okay. Yeah, these, he, we had to do thumbnail. Oh, no, that's something else. So, okay. And this is another, like, orientation drawing thing. Then we had to do... This was a prompt, actually. One of the prompts was draw a character or draw something based on a song. So I really like Copa Cabana. This was before it was, like, super-duper popular. I, I really like the... Just, I, I found it via Just Dance. So I drew it. It looks so mid. I don't know why it doesn't look that great, but I don't like it. Uh, I worked very hard on it, but it just looks okay. So, but I submitted that as a part of that prompt. And then, this was another thing we had to do. So, we had to do, we had to get three cups, like, three very similar objects, and draw them, like, facing up, and, like, in this sort of composition, and then, like, showing this type of composition, where it's, like, laid out, and then showing this one, where it gets, like, farther back. Um, I think these ones look pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with them, and I tried pretty hard to make them look good. Uh, and it, it was actually kind of fun to draw them, because it was fun to draw the little swoopy thing of the mug and stuff. It's, like, super light, so, again, sorry it doesn't really come through. But yeah, I learned how to draw through things and make my cylinders better. And I was just getting better at observing. Here, we were we were starting to learn something called... I forgot what it's called, but basically it's where you, like, line up your pencil with, like, the object you're drawing and, like, transfer that to your paper, citing and measuring. We were learning that, and that was helping me a lot. I still use that to this day to, like, do certain drawings, so that, that was really cool. This is another prompt drawing. I It was a draw a character based on a game, game, show, whatever. So I drew Hollow Knight. I drew that the knight's cape, that's the knight's sword that's hornet's dress it's the butterflies that come out with them that one thing no wait that's the night that's the night sword that's hornet's little thing and that's like shade shoes and then the rest it just whatever i wanted this is from a background the game kind of loosely it looks okay i feel like i should have just drawn the actual characters but i wanted to try being creative because i really want to make my own characters a little bit and it was fun and i like it more than the coco cabana one um, this, we just had to practice doing, I don't know what the, like, logical term for this is, but just shades. Making sure we can, like, have various shades and, like, control our, like, colors and stuff. This is kind of another nothing page. I drew, only good thing about this page is ball. 
but it really isn't coming through that well. It's okay. I shaded it, kind of. Nothing much here. We're just learning. We're just getting into shading. Getting introduced to shading. Um, this was an assignment. So you can see sometimes I try very hard on the assignments. Sometimes I don't. But, like, I still got a 5 on this. Pretty sure. 5 out of 5. Um, it was basically draw your dinner. And so my dinner was a sandwich. And so I drew that. I, to be fair, I didn't have a lot of time because I was, like, doing a bunch of stuff on top of this class. Like, I'm still in high school and taking this college class. So it was kind of a lot. Also, I think I skipped a page. So that's really cool. Yeah, I totally skipped. No, I didn't. Okay. This is another one. It was draw something melting. The animals melting. It's just a animals melting. It's a, it was kind of fun to draw, but it didn't take me that long. And I didn't put a whole ton of time in it. I started doing Inktober and then also submitted these as personal drawings that we needed. Because sometimes it was either a prompt or personal drawing. This is Inktober. I think the theme was a dream or something. I only did like five days of Inktober and then like kind of gave up. But it was kind of fun. And then... We started working on our compositions for our first final. So my objects, we had to have like one flat object, one cylindrical object. And like, it had to be an interesting composition. It had to be, I think, at least five objects. It's hard to see, but I have a sketchbook, a bottle, a little box, and then a little cotton, like a little big container that the box is inside. But it is hard to see. And I think I have the final for that somewhere else because I think that's the only thing I draw of it there and then here you can see that I start drawing more thumbnails for it it's a little blurry because I started I used it for charcoal or something so and then I have the final product of it it took a while I tried really hard to make it look good I think I got some critiques on it that my cylinder wasn't perfect and it was really hard because I just take a picture of my still life and send it to her with this. So she can see like all the mistakes that I made, right? So like the cylinder was a little off and the box was a little off, I think. Um, I think maybe the bottle cap. But like it was really nice because at first we submitted it and our peers got to like kind of critique it a little. So I was able to fix some stuff. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it. Like I can definitely see like the cylinder here is really not it. Um, but, like, besides that, it, I really like how the Gary bottle looks. You can clearly see the Gary bottle. So, I'm pretty happy with it. That was our first final. I did pretty well on it, I think, if I remember right. This is the Inktober one. I think it's my favorite Inktober one because it's actually a little scary, but it's a little lame at the same time. It's another assignment. I forgot the name of this, but we did that, and that was an assignment that we did. Um... More still life practice. Oh, this is a prompt. I had to draw a bunch of logos. And so that was kind of fun to try to replicate them. Really sorry that a lot of stuff is not really darkened. So you can't see a lot. But it's just a bunch of logos. So you're not missing much. Um, We need to like draw our hand or something with these lines. It's actually kind of cool. But it's like really easy too. So that was kind of a nice like break. Another silly Inktober assignment um more of this line stuff for assignments more inktober more inktober and then we started getting to charcoal so like you see this like film over it it's like taped down it's because charcoal and if it wasn't it would get all over this page so yeah i might take it off for some drawings but i honestly might leave it on because it's kind of a hassle charcoal was interesting it was kind of hard to do the class because it had charcoal, because I was doing it, like, at school, and charcoal is very not portable, so that was kind of hard, um, and charcoal gets all over your hands, <laughs> so it was a little annoying, but I just kept, like, a baby wipe nearby, so it wasn't as bad, um, but to skip a page, I don't want to do that, okay, we had, uh, this is another prompt one, draw yourself without looking at the paper, blind contour yourself, that one was kind of fun, Briefly what I look like. Oh my god, it's a face for real. Oh my god. Um, this is draw a bunch of designs. Ah, this one actually has color. This is another prompt one. 
most of my prop ones don't have color, but I thought it'd be nice to have color because doing designs that didn't have color was kind of harder. So I add color, and now it kind of pops out, and it's kind of pretty. This was a charcoal assignment. It was not a final, but basically we needed to crumple up paper and draw it. Um, it kind of looks like a manatee to me. I, I like how it came out. Um, it was a little annoying to do, but it, it was, it was kind of fun, so it's okay. It gets a pass in my book, and, like, as much as, like, charcoal's a little annoying, it is fun to work with in the end, because it is so easy to erase, and so easy to control how you shade stuff. So, yeah. This is more charcoal. This one, I might put a picture up if I edit this, because it kind of got messed up. Um, even with the paper on it. It used to be a lot wider in certain parts. I had a cloth over a cup or something, and we did draw it. I think I might put an image of it before it got all messed up, because it's a lot darker than it used to be. And we worked more with charcoal. Um, we drew, this is all in charcoal. Nature, this is a leaf. I thought this leaf came out pretty good. Another leaf. Although, we did, like, it was, like, we, like, drew first and then outlined it with, uh, the eraser. And then, I think, some, like, cotton thing. I don't remember, actually. This is what- this was- that was a pretty fun day. I like drawing the nature stuff. And then... Circles, they look kind of mid. This was a- this was a prompt. Draw a hole and a ball, I think, was the prompt. Uh, you can see the hole here. Can I got on my picture, but it's okay. Um, it's not even charcoal. This is draw yourself in a different, like, a, draw yourself as a different, like, in a different art style. So I drew myself in the Clannad art style because I was playing that game at the time. I think it looks okay. I don't think I drew my hair super well, but that's okay. I didn't have a lot of time to do this anyway. Uh, this is draw on a bit of lyrics, so I did super shy. It looks... Okay, again, I don't think I'm super good at drawing in this, like, big space yet. Like, the hand is, like, really small. Like, it's proportion-wise, it's kind of messed up. But I had fun with this, so it's okay. And this was just a personal drawing one, I think. There was no prompt with this. I just drew Hatsune Miku, because I have to have Hatsune Miku in all my sketchbooks. And then I drew a bunch of hands and feet, but they're upside down, and they're really light anyway, so you're not going to see them. But, yeah, that's what that is. And then, I don't really know, I'm trying to, like, figure out, did I pass my final, which, like, what pi what final am I at right now? I don't remember, I might have passed it, I wouldn't be surprised, but I'll go back to it. Um, this is when we started getting to pens, and line editing with pens. I did not draw this from scratch. There was someone called Master Copy, we would copy some, so what someone else drew, and then, co and then, like, draw over it in pen. So that was kind of fun. And we were practicing, I forgot what it was called, like, scrib scribbling or scrabbling, um, stippling, and cross-hatching. Um, I think since we're moving away from charcoal, um, we, we did my other final project, so I'm gonna show my other final. So these were the thumbnails for my final. I had to draw, you had to draw some fabric. So I drew this, this Miku dress I got for a cosplay. That I really liked, along with, like, the belt and stuff. And then, again, the final project is a lot darker than it was supposed to be. Um, if I remember, I'll put a picture up here. But, yeah, this was it. Um, I got dinked up, like, I didn't have as many points as I could have because I made it, I could have had more lighter parts. But I think with charcoal, it's kind of hard because the stuff I had, I couldn't, like, erase super well. So it was really hard to make parts really white once there was like can we do a base where we cover up the whole thing in charcoal so that was kind of annoying anyway back to the normal sketchbook i made some original artwork for the personal stuff kind of do some personal drawings again um these are some mermaids and their kids and they're being watched and then this is them before they got captured that was fun to draw i don't really draw original characters a lot and it's fun to come up with, like, their colors and stuff. Um, this was an assignment where we had to draw four different environments, use a perspective line, like, where our eyesight was, and, like, draw basically as much as we could. It didn't have to be super good, but just draw a bunch of stuff. So I drew my room, which is barely visible. 
this is more darker. I drew my living room. And these were actually really fun because, like, it was super loose, so I didn't have to worry too much. And then I drew my backyard. Again, bar barely visible, so not that worried. And then drew my, out oh, my window. So, yeah, that was fun. And then, oh, whoops, I showed my art too quickly. It's okay. This is for my final. No, it isn't. Oh, yeah, it's for our last final. Um, I need to choose a couple objects and then draw them either in pen or pencil. We had a choice, and they had to be in a box to practice perspective, and we did do them in different ways. So I was just, like, getting used to drawing them in general and stuff like that. I had a paper heart, a ribbon, a bow, a box, and I think one other thing, but I might have not drawn it here. And then there's another prompt. I actually kind of like this one. I think this is one of my favorite. You did draw something combine two things together so the only two things i had was like my cat was on me and i had my bottle so i drew my cat and my bottle and i drew another cat looking up at it because i thought that was kind of funny and i had fun with it this class was pretty fun um this is the mermaid one i actually really like this mermaid one um partly because i also came up with the pose myself because i'm really used to coming up i mean like searching up poses for stuff I really like how it came out. I like how I add really a lot of details to them. And, like, I just worked up some ideas for it. But I really uh, like this drawing. And I think it's pretty. These were my thumbnails for my final. Uh, with the box. Because you could, like, choose how the box was positioned and stuff like that. And basically, I, like, we posted this to a discussion and let people choose which ones were the best ones to do. And then, let's see, should I show my final now? Is there something else? No, okay. I still pre I'm still practicing. So, this is another prompt. You just draw yourself as, like, an ant or something. I think that was a prompt. Yeah, I, I didn't take it that seriously. And then, box. Practicing drawing boxes, because that's part of our final. And then, this is a study. So, draw the things in our final in pen. Um, because the final is in pen. I drew my pumpkin, and I, like, tried it a bunch of different ways to figure out which way I wanted to shade it. Because you want, you want to shade everything differently. So, like, I did the bow, like, the string and stippling. I did it in cross, like, normal hatching. I did this in, like, hatching, and this one in hatching, and then this one in, like, cross contour, I think. So I was, like, trying different ways, and I think I leaned on this one that I liked. And it was really nice that she gave us the opportunity to do that in class, could maybe really think about it. And um, it was, like, an assignment, too, basically, so that was nice. I drew a cup. I drew it super-duper small. This was for an assignment. I somehow got a 5 out of 5 for this, even though I'm like, I don't want to draw this stupid cup. And I drew it anyway. In, like, a couple seconds, I got a 5 out of 5. I was like, okay, cool. Um, it, it was, like, for a really simple assignment, not, like, a super, like, official one. So, like, if it was for, like, a real assignment, she would give me a critique, and I probably wouldn't get a 5 out of 5, but it was a pretty simple assignment. Um, so, this is after the final, so I'll talk about that. This is my almost final final. We had one more after this. I'm really proud of this. Like, compared to where I started, this is really good. I am, I really like the pumpkin. I also really like how it's in pen, so it's not going to get smudged like the charcoal one. Like, my charcoal one looked really good, but because of the paper, even though the paper was protecting it, it still, like, smudged a bit, so now it doesn't look as good. But this one still looks great. I love the bow. I love the stippling on the ribbon here. I love all the shading. I, I did get knocked off points because, even though I did draw a box, I messed up the box because I didn't measure it out because i'm like i don't need to do that i did draw box i'm great but no i did so i i got knocked up points for that but besides that i got pretty good points on it um i like how i did the heart i like my composition because you didn't make your own composition they he didn't tell me doing this i had to tape this here and here i actually made this box here you have to make the box for the assignment they don't just give you a box you have to make it because this is all online. This is the actual box that I made for this. Yeah, I had to put white paper all in it and stuff and cut out that hole for the light to come in. It was a little annoying, but it really didn't take that much time. So it was okay. I think my favorite part is the pumpkin. That was really, it was also really fun to draw the pumpkin. 
Yeah, it was just becoming a lot easier for me to do this stuff, I guess, because of this class. So here we did more just a drawing. They look bad. I'm just going to say it, but it's okay. They're just a drawing. Who cares? And they're fun. This was like near the end of like the class, so we were just kind of chilling. And I thought the last final was going to be like easy, so I wasn't like worried. Then the last final wasn't easy, but that's not the point. More just a drawing. More just a drawing. And like for finding just drawing, it's nothing impressive. I drew some random stuff in my house because I was kind of bored. My cat looks way fatter in this picture than she is. I drew my cat again. These weren't even, I didn't even submit these because there was no more like personal drawing assignments because it was almost the end of the class. And then I had to figure out my stuff because our last assignment was a freaking charcoal animation that had to be like seven frames long. So. That was awesome that we did that. Um, I'll probably post that separately from this and link it below. Um, so, oh, this is another drawing we did. Um, we basically had to do a drawing of this in, like, different lighting. That wasn't really a problem. So, for the animation, we had to do not only do thumbnails for it, we do thumbnails for it working. And make sure the thumbnails work as an animation. See, as an animator, I was kind of happy, but it also took a ton of time. So, I don't know. Uh, these were my thumbnails. And then these are my drawn thumbnails. And then this is the final of... Because basically, we had to draw the first frame, take a picture, and then draw the next frame. So, this is the one that is stayed the best with the paper. I don't know why, but it looks so much better right now than the other ones did. Uh, I'll post this animation because I'm really proud of it because it took me forever. It was by far the most stressed I was in the assignment because I didn't want to fail because I'm an animator. It'd be really embarrassing to do the worst on the animation assignment. So it was like kind of trying really hard. Even just even even though it's just a box opening, it took a while because it'd be really like proportionate and I had to like actually look at a box to like get perspective and like make it look realistic and stuff and like have all the shading in it and stuff. So yeah, I'll post that. I don't know why I didn't post that before, because it does look pretty good. I just kind of forgot. And yeah, that is officially all of my assignments from SCAD Drawing 100. I will be taking Drawing 101, which is basically this with color, um, in like a couple weeks. So I'll probably post that video too. Um, I'm posting this. I don't really think this will get a lot of views. Um, the CalArts one makes sense because I was talking about CalArts, but this, I don't think I will. I haven't posted forever. I'm making this because when I was, like, going through information about this, like, this class, I didn't know what I was getting into. I really wanted to know what I was getting into. And, like, all the channels I looked at, they talked about going to SCAD and stuff like that, but they didn't talk about specifically what their classes were doing. And, like, I just really wanted to hear what type of assignment, what type of work it will give me an A, because, like, I was going in there, I don't have the best art skills in the world, and I was worried I was just going to fail. And I didn't. I got an A in this class, and you just saw all the art I did. So, like, if I can do it, you can too. So, that's why I'm making this video. It's, because what to clarify, what I'm doing is the joint program. So, I'm getting, like, 50% off, and I'm going to SCAD. While I'm a high school student, I'm a junior right now, so I'm not in their call. I'm not in their college as actual like college seeking, degree seeking. I'm just taking their classes to benefit my art, and hopefully they'll count as art classes, so I can take less art classes later down the line. And they're a lot cheaper right now, so that's what I'm doing. I'm not in college. I'm a junior. That's why my art is not stellar. But yeah, this was a really good class. I really liked it. Even the animation part. I think I just stressed about that too much. It was really manageable. Even as someone, I have a job and I do another club that meets like three times a week and like a bunch of other stuff. I'm busy, but it was still enough. Like I was able to keep up on the assignments and like get A's on the assignments and stuff like that. So if you can, I think it's a really good program and this is a really good class. Thank you.